just uh, full of emotion, uh, very elated that your name was called and just seeing your family, you know, they're hugging and crying and just celebrating that whole moment. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's amazing, man. It's like, it's like a miracle. <laughs> My mom showed me a book uh, maybe two months ago where I was like five years old and it was like the world's greatest football players or whatnot and Troy Aikman and Emmett Smith and those guys was in there. And then in crayon, it was a, a little writing from a five-year-old kid that said, when I grow up, I'm gonna be an NFL football player. So from seeing that to actually, you know, going into my eighth year now, it's, it's just amazing, man. And that, that whole experience, just when I got drafted, remembering that and remember that promise that I had made to myself and now it came to fruition, it was it's the indescribable, the feeling. Anytime you work hard for something, you're preparing yourself. So, you know, high school, college, learning what I learned from the coaches that I had and then being a proponent of hard work. I mean, I already knew that part of it. So I guess the rest just came to getting acclimated to what the NFL lifestyle was, was about. When they're sitting there waiting for the name to be called, just be patient. If it's a high round draft pick, you know, enjoy it. Understand you have to prove yourself. If you're a lower round draft pick, use it. Go out there and prove them wrong. You know, wherever you go, if you go undrafted, it doesn't matter. Because all it takes is for one team to give you an opportunity, and then it's about what you're going to do with that opportunity. You know, I hope everybody gets drafted. You know, I wish everybody well, man, and God bless.